Hey guys, so we're here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse. Is it just me or are we getting a serious case of deja vu here? Because today we are taking a look at the black and gray variant of Hush Batman. Uh, this is not a gold label exclusive like the Owl Man I looked at, I want to say yesterday, right? It's been a while since I've recorded. This is one of the first videos I've recorded in a New York minute, to quote uh, one of the greatest rock bands of all time, the Eagles. But um, yeah, man, we're looking at another Hush Batman on the same Hush Batman body buck that your boy Tereshed absolutely destroyed last week. Verbally, not physically. That's that's called wasting money. Uh, that said, this, of course, brought to us by the fine folks over at Farland toys who have come under fire this past month between the uh, tomfoolery shenanigans rigmarole and just straight up bullshit <laughs> they've been pulling uh, not only with that monitor uh, crisis on infinite earth's wave but uh, umpteen other releases and you know I've given them their fair share of the shit too because they Basically, for lack of a better term, to me anyways, it feels like they've turned their back on the people who've been with them since the beginning, which would be, you know, people like me, um, there's plenty of other YouTubers who are the same, but before, way back when, <laughs> a few years ago, you used to be able to backtrack with this line, like, extensively, like, almost up to a year. And now it seems like if you don't pre-order the stuff when it goes up, you may not get the figure. And that sucks. That's not cool. That's that's making stuff rare for no reason. If it's not exclusive, if it's not, you know, something that you really got to worry about going on clearance, like something cool, like, I don't know, the Black and Gray Nightfall Batman or the Night's End Azrael, the... Uh, Starro, NFT Wave, Green Lantern, etc. All figures that I got by the skin of my teeth. Then, you know, piss off with this chase bullshit. Nobody cares about the chase. Nobody cares about the hunt. You have a thing. I have money. I give you money. You give me the thing. Everyone wins, to quote Toy Galaxy. So, you know, there's no need to make unessential items like friggin' toys hard to get but these companies are just out of touch with the modern collecting community and don't know what we want that's why walmart collector con or as i like to call it walmart cancel con is still a thing mattel freaking putting up a bunch of motu shit on the same freaking day as you know other stuff i'd like to grab really can't space it out can't make it a week like a normal con whatever either way we're not talking about all that i already did that last week i tried to keep that short and sweet but uh, i do have a funny story for you uh, i bought this figure thinking it was hush superman because <laughs> i'm dumb and don't know how to read and uh jumped to conclusions uh rather quickly and have a tendency to, I don't know, screw up now and then. And uh, I bought this guy instead of Hush Superman. And lo and behold, Hush Superman sold out. <laughs> so, um, speaking of unattainable figures. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, it was at that moment he realized he fucked up. I already cussed a few times in this video. If I do it anymore, it's not as tasteful. You know, I like to be tasteful with my cussing. That said, um, I will tell you. Silver lining to this whole shit show <laughs> is that this is actually not a bad figure on this body buck. This is probably the best version of this body buck I have. Compared to the blue and gray, compared to the god awful atrocity that was the one in the Spawn 2 pack, and even to the uh, three Jokers Batman and the Vampire Batman, I think this is the best of the four I have utilizing a lot of these parts. I don't have year two Batman. I missed out on that. Does that thing even exist? I, I know some people have it and the arms broke, but um, I'm just curious. Maybe they, maybe they should do a rerun on that? Maybe? Oh, look like a cool piece. Would have liked to have it, but oh well. 
And I don't have the one from the Gotham, not Gotham City, Bat Family 5-pack. And I'm going to actually get into the Bat Family in just a minute here. But before we do that, let's take a look-see at the accessories. It's the same batch of accessories we got in the blue and gray one. Um, so he's got the extra hands. I do have the fists on him. I think I had the fists on the last one. I don't remember. But uh, he's got this open hand and this grip hand. I won't tell you what's weird is the hands I have on him and the hands that I'm holding here are not the same like glove design texture or whatever the ones on them have like knuckles like brass knuckle looking things on them uh these guys do not have like anything they're just smooth gloves so i don't know why that is seems like an oversight and a half um, i almost want to say the year two batman was the same way and he comes with two batarangs same two batarangs were used to seeing the Hush Batman figures. Uh, I will say, another figure that's going to utilize his body I'm very curious about, and I do have on order, is the first appearance Batman with the purple gloves. Uh, I think he's got a wired cape too, so that'll be interesting. Uh, that said, we don't have to worry about the cape weighing him down. I think it'll be long enough to touch the ground, and uh, if that figure's anything like this one, the joints will be tight enough to withhold the weight anyways, so looking forward to that. Uh, we, of course, get a collectible training card. No, I don't have my reader out for this one. I did do the read last week, and while my phone did screw up a little bit, it's the generic bio for Batman on the back, so you could pause and read it if you want, but unless you're living under a rock, there's a 99.98% chance you know who Batman is. I'm willing to bet. Just putting that to the side. Let's take a closer look at this figure. I'm not going to go over the articulation. I did that last week. I might even leave a link to that video in the description, but he does come with a hockey puck display stand. We used to see him with all McFarlane Toys releases. And uh, here he is. Would have killed him to give him a different head, maybe? I don't know. Uh, there is a black and gray Hush Batman already out there that's a lot older. It's uh, in a two-pack with Hush, and to my understanding, the elbows were crap on that because they painted the black like all the way up here. Or onto the hinge or something so people had to acetone that off i'm kind of glad i don't have to do that because <laughs> i debated um mr brian aka my dad aka the old man he's got that hush two pack he got it on i want to say he got it on clearance at gamestop or something and uh his has those defective elbow joints so um yeah not not a fan of that but thankfully they reconciled that here it looks fine i know some of those two packs they fixed it later on but uh should have had a problem in the first place dude like i'm sorry but i know i'm team companies that wouldn't let that pass so I, I don't know why they did probably because they're making too much shit um that's i wouldn't mind getting the hush from that two pack so maybe they'll reissue him in a single pack but uh with the shovel and uh the alternate head and the less piss colored trench coat it's more of a brown of a baby barf color if you ask me but the one i have looks more like a rain coat than a trench coat so whatever but uh i will tell you this is my mind's eye view of batman other than the kryptonite ring on his hand there see that um pretty curious if that's uh same sculpt they use for that green lantern batman uh, and the collector's edition stuff but um my mind's eye view of batman is essentially the black and gray suit with the bat symbol, no yellow oval around it. And uh, I would have said longer ears, but you know, short, long, ear length, never really a thing. Probably the perfect length of these guys here. I like the long exaggerated ones, but for a standard Batman, this totally works. Um, and then the boots, not a lot of extra textures and panels and lines and things going on. I will say the utility belt's a little bit more involved than my mind's eye view of the character, but it's fine. Nicely painted. It's not horrible. Is it painted on the back? Looks like it. Yeah. I like that $40 Superman from the Crisis on Infinite Earths wave. They actually painted the belt all the way on the $20 figure. Actually, $19.99. You know, right down to the last cent. Uh... I do like the cape. It's a little windswept, but it's not horrible. And I do like the length of the, the pointy things on it, so that's cool. It's got some schmutz over here, but 
whatever. Not that big a deal. But uh, yeah, my mind's eye view of Batman, essentially. Now, I'm not going to go over articulation, but uh, I will tell you the ankles and the toe joints. Listen to that. And then this one. That one's a little looser. But the ankles. See that pop there? Not loose! Holy shit! Um, I never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. Knees are a little questionable. You do gotta kinda crunch them once to get him to stand properly. But thankfully, look at that. He stands right up just fine. So, I don't know what happened between the blue and gray and this one. But uh, I, I feel like somebody watched my Spawn 2 pack review, right? Absolutely obliterated this body bug verbally, not uh, physically, because it costs money. All right, I did that joke. But, uh, you know, the joints on this guy are really nice. Even the torso isn't loose. Like, look at that. There is no, like, bobble here. It's got a little wiggle room, but it's not terrible. So, I don't know what happened. I really don't. Am I going to take credit for it? You're damn right. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I will say this shoulder is not as tight as this. This one is, like, super tight. This one is not loose, but it doesn't have that click I like. But, yeah, that is black and gray Hush Batman in a nutshell. Um, again, if you want to see the articulation, I might leave a link in the description for my... Uh, previous Hush Batman review. I look at the blue and gray version. But I gotta tell you, if they tweak the body for the blue and gray version of Hush, I'm hoping they do it for Nightfall because he's a little loosey-goosey on mine. A little bit. Um, particularly in the ankles, once again. But uh, I gotta tell you, I'm happy with what I'm seeing here. And feeling. Hearing and smelling, not so much. But, uh, yeah, man, that's about it. So, uh, with that being said, let's cut uh, cut this thing off before it gets too long. And take a look, see, at some size comparisons, which I do have one I didn't have for the last Hush Batman review. I got the uh, equivalent in my collection of Hush Superman. Because, uh, again, my dumbass bought this guy by accident. <laughs> but uh, a happy accident, I must say. So, with that being said... Move right along and take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here is our black and gray Hush Batman alongside the closest thing I have to the Hush Superman. This is the Collector's Edition. Well, they called it Action Comics number one Superman, but let's face it, it is Superman number one Superman. And this is, for the most part, what Hush Superman is, shy of a different head sculpt. And maybe a different torso with a, um, I don't want to say embossed, but a separate glued-on Superman shield emblem. I'm not 100% sure if that's what Hush Superman has or not. This guy's is painted clearly. But uh, they got the same cape, the same body buck, maybe even the same colors other than maybe the flesh tone. I heard the flesh tone on Hush Superman is a little sickly looking because it is basically the infected Hush Superman minus the poison ivy bits but to give you guys an idea of how hush batman scales with a superman that is uh essentially the same as the one from its respected line there you go um too short <laughs> long story short too short uh and then we also have hush from of course hush and again too short compared to batman anyways so uh thankfully other than the blue and gray Batman, who I looked at last week, uh, this Batman is not going to be with my Hush display. He's going to be with my Bat family. So, uh, thankfully, I don't care that he's not in scale with these two. But, you know, after X amount of time, McFarlane Toys has had the DC Multiverse license. You'd think they'd get the scaling a little bit better by now. But, uh, as you can see, that's clearly not the case. So, kind of hard to give him slack there. 
will say, is anyone else having a hard time standing this hush figure? It's not even like looseness, it's just maybe it is a little looseness, but it's not like crazy. His ankles aren't even loose. He just topples forward. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's the coat. But uh this course would not be one of my uh, vidges without bringing in the Mythic Legions by the Mandibulus. Who wants to fall forward? Hold on. Hold on there, you. Speaking of ankles that aren't loose. There. There we go. And, of course, the infamous Mkur 11 Spawn. Who is not towering over everyone today. He's about neck and neck with Batman, maybe. Um, maybe a little shorter. Not a fan of that either, because uh, as we all know, this is the infamous Spawn 2-pack Batman body buck. And that Batman was ass, but this one, thankfully, way less ass. Like, minimal amounts of ass. The only real problem is the scale, but for what I'm using it for, it's fine. So, with that being said, time now that we wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and while I do still stand by my initial opinions about the Hush Batman body buck, I have to admit that the black and gray version of everyone's favorite Cage Crusader here is far superior to the blue and gray version I looked at last week. That said, I actually do not intend to use this for my Hush display. As I mentioned earlier, I do intend to use this as the Batman for my McFarland Toys Bat family because while he is a bit tall, so is the Nightwing, so is the Red Hood, so is the Batgirl I would eventually like to pick up, and even the Damian Wayne Robin. So for that, he's pretty much in scale, so that works for me. I'm not really into having characters from different eras in scale with one another because I don't intend to display them that way. Sure, it helps if you wanted to mix and match and pick your favorite looks, but as long as what I want to set up is in scale within itself, that's good enough for me, okay? Because at the end of the day, none of these companies are getting the scale thing right, let's face it, other than, I guess if you want to throw four horsemen in there, but they did create the character, so I would hope they knew what they were doing with scale there. And I think it's safe to say that they do. Uh, that said, other than, you know, my initial criticisms about this body buck, I have to say that some of my past criticisms have been, at least on this figure, I don't know if I just got super lucky and got a decent one, but they feel reconciled. The joints don't feel quite as loose. Um... The joints don't feel quite as loose. Other than that, you know, I never complained about the anatomy. The anatomy was pretty decent on this figure. I would say the only thing they'd have to do moving forward, maybe tighten the joints just a smidge more, update the torso articulation, maybe make the arms a bit less fragile. I heard that's a problem with this body buck, though I've never experienced it. Knock on wood, it stays that way. But the biggest drawback with this figure is and any figure utilizing this body buck, is the head articulation, is butts. It's terrible. It sucks. There's no if ands, or buts about it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a stump. So if they can just fix that, I think we're good. I can deal with the scale, because again, as long as it's in scale with what I'm using it for, I mean, granted, the Hush Batman I'm using for Hush is a little too big, still, especially compared to the Superman, it's fine. It's serviceable. It's passable. I'll get over it. I'll look past it, all right? You know, I don't need you know, a $50 figure for 20 bucks. I need the $20 figure to feel like it was worth the 20 bucks, you know? So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.